Now you should follow suit and just get to the bay. People gon' talk either good or it's bad. Let's see, people gon' talk either good or it's bad. Welcome back to the Empress Kina Show. So today we are going to go over which sign is most compatible with your sign. Let's go backwards today. Let's start off with Pisces and work our way down to Aries. So Pisces, Scorpio is the sign for you. And why? Because it says here that you guys are both very intuitive people. Minds are really important to y'all. Like y'all both thrive on figuring each other out. It's like y'all have this game that y'all like to play where you trying to figure out exactly how this person takes, what turns them on, what turns them off. And it's like exciting to y'all. Like, I don't know. Y'all are really mind freaks. Some freaks for real, actually. Y'all just have a very high respect for each other. Y'all oh. really are romantic people. Y'all just be flowing in some water and shit. There you go. If you are a Pisces, try a Scorpio. Aquarius. It says here that your perfect match is Gemini. Who? Gemini. No, I'm just kidding. Y'all cool. So it says that you guys have a very strong psychological connection. Kind of like that Scorpio and Pisces thing. Y'all really value intellect. You guys really click on that level of mental stimulation. Y'all really have like this deep bond because y'all can really talk about a lot of things. Y'all just get each other. Y'all think alike. Y'all both kind of live y'all life in y'all own head. I mean, we all live our lives in our own heads, but y'all specifically, Gemini's and Aquarius, really live in that airspace. It just works. Capricorn, your perfect match is Taurus. It says here that you guys have this endless, deep, romantic, earthy adoration for one another. Y'all really thrive on giving each other so much love and attention, very groundedness. So y'all kind of just mesh well in that manner. This is the couple that will literally last forever. It's so sincere, so genuine. Y'all together, y'all are in love. Y'all don't even see other people. It's just, I see you, you see me, and that's it. Yeah, that's all I got. All right, on to the Saggies, Sagittarius, it says, your perfect match is none other than Aries. I'm not just saying that that's a great match just because I'm an Aries. I'm just saying that that's a good match because I'm an Aries. Sagittarius, this relationship is very hot and passionate. You guys bring both a lot of energy to the relationship. You guys are both energetic people. Y'all kind of just have a lot of fun together. Like Y'all both are like these children that just want to run wild. It says that your enthusiasm for life is what really brings this connection together. So y'all kind of have this bond where y'all just know there's so much more to life. Let's just figure it out together. It also says that you guys are very determined people. You will power through any problems together because y'all are literally the types of people that can get through anything. Like On to Scorpio, Cancer. Now, these are also two water signs. It says you guys are very intense emotional beings. You guys feel everything very intensely. Your emotions are just heightened more so than any other sign in the zodiacs because you guys are water. You guys feed off each other's emotions are very deep below the surface. It's in here. You guys aren't afraid to explore your feelings and emotions. You kind of just go for them. You guys are a terrific support system to one another in anything that you guys pursue, whether it be career, dream. You guys really work because you guys have similar morals, always caring about other people and the people around you. Not a lot of people care about other people, but you two, you two do. All right, Libra says your perfect match is Gemini. Why? Because you guys have that intellectual connection. Air signs are all about intellect. They're all about the mental space being clear. You guys have to know and understand everything. Gemini's and Libras both have that sense of like having to know and understand exactly what's happening and what's not happening and what direction we're going and what time we're gonna do it at. You guys have a very sexy chemistry because it is in the mind first. It's more like a, an entry. And the thing that brings you guys together that makes you guys work is that you guys have a deep understanding for how the other person operates. And when you can understand a person's mind, you understand who they are inside and out. Virgo, it says your perfect match is Taurus. You guys are both earth signs. You guys are very easygoing, practical people. And y'all both have that sense of like making things make sense. Cause y'all like, yeah, I don't understand why people just be tweaking. Two plus two equals four. Why would you do two times X? Like who does that? Y'all are very calm, cool and collected. Y'all are very easygoing, laid back people, very down to earth. Y'all have this instant connection where it's like, yeah, like I get you. Like, yeah, you get me too. You guys are very honest, very devoted to one another. Y'all have the same values. Like y'all both value integrity. Damn near the top tier of qualities to y'all. It's very important for people to be a person of integrity. You know, trust is very important for y'all because y'all are earth signs. So the practical things matter. And the main thing at the foundation of any relationship is trust and integrity. And that's why you guys work. Leo. 
Your perfect match is a Sagittarius, another fellow fire sign. The connection is very spicy. It's a very sexually intense connection. You guys fuel each other's fire. Leos are very boisterous people. In Sagittarius, they're not as boisterous as a Leo, but they fuel that Leo fire. They have that passion inside of themselves too. So y'all kind of just fume, fume, light flames to each other. They're the fun couple, always doing something, always having a great time. When you get two fire signs together, it's like boom, explosion. Cancer, your perfect match is Pisces, another water sign. And these water signs go together because you guys understand that they're on an emotional level. You guys are open and vulnerable with one another. They call this a cosmic connection. These are the two cool water signs. You guys understand each other at the core. They have a solid sense of themselves too. They understand exactly who they are. That's why they're not afraid to be quote unquote emotional because they know who they are. They don't care how they look. They will cry in front of you. They don't give a fuck. See me crying, who cares? Whereas most people are too prideful to do that, but they aren't. Cancers like to nurture and Pisces like to make people feel like they're special. But when you have a nurturing person and a caring and compassionate person, y'all just mesh together and make this big, fat, watery heart. All right, Gemini, your perfect match is Aquarius. You guys are very emotionally and mentally connected because you guys can just bounce off creative ideas to one another and you guys allow each other to see beyond what others can see. Gemini's, like I said, they're intellectually stimulated and Aquariuses are those types of people who their mind is always expanding and it's always creative and free flowing. And when Aquarius comes, it's like here, but did you think about it in this way? And then the Gemini is like, <gasps> I did not. And then the Aquarius is like, exactly. Taurus, your perfect match is the sweet Cancer. They just understand each other. They compliment one another. But a Cancer lacks, a Taurus has, and vice versa. They're like that perfect, like, yin and yang couple. Tauruses are very like, ugh, keep everything inside. And Cancers are like, no, let it out. So they kind of like help each other, like learn from one another. And a Cancer is the type of person that can bring out that emotional part of you. And a Taurus needs that because they're going to keep it all inside. They're going to hold it right in here. The Cancer is like, no, feel your feelings. It's okay. Last, but certainly not least. <laughs> Aries. It says the perfect sign for an Aries is an Aquarius. Now I'm an Aries. I've never dated an Aquarius, but it's interesting because what I've read is that they're both adventurous. There's never a dull moment between this couple. They enjoy trying new things. They are always down for a good time. It's because Aries are always ready to like go on a new adventure and Aquarius is always thinking of a new adventure with these imaginative ideas. Aquarius is fueled that childlike exploration in Aries. Aries is already this childlike energy that just wants to do things and have new experiences. And Aquarius is this type of natural dreamer. They meet the Aries exactly where they are in that dream world that the Aries likes to live in. Aquarius is they on the moon and Aries is on their own planet. Aquarius and Aries, they combine their planets and their worlds and it just works because they both live in their own independent worlds. So that's all I have for you on signs and the compatibility of all the signs. All right, that's the love doctor signing out. Have a great and awesome day.